Welcome once again to another installment as I go through the features of ProPresenter 5. I'm Paul Clifford, author of Podcasting Church, Tweeting Church, and Church Video Summer School, and I thought that I would just show you what I really like about ProPresenter 5. If you've missed it already, I've recorded an overview about uh, ProPresenter 5 and also a little bit about working with video. So today I thought that we would take just a little time to look at text in ProPresenter 5. So here we are back in ProPresenter 5 and as you can see I have a song up. This is one that was written by our worship director at our church. So it's got um, words that I feel very comfortable with uh, sharing here. So the first thing you should know is how to create a new song. There are actually a few different ways to do it. So the um, most default way is to go down here and create a new document or to go up here and create a new presentation. Now you'll notice that you have a few different options here. Uh, you can make things in different uh, categories. Let's change the category to song. Let's call this Amazing Grace. Now uh, the size should be whatever your presentation is set to for your projector. Notice over here we've got a template and you've got some choice. These two came with uh, ProPresenter, but I created one right here that might be useful, or one right here. I'm gonna go with Songs and use Template 1 here, and that should give me the layout like I have over here. So I'm gonna go click here. Now I'm going to go into the edit mode amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I can add another slide. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Okay, so we've got those two in here. Now, as we look, you'll see that it's set to Helvetica regular size 58. I can also change that to Helvetica. I'm going to change it to bold in both cases. So Helvetica bold. I can also apply to all. Let's say I wanted it left justified, apply to all. Notice that effects up here. I could stick it in the center. Again, apply to all. It affects both of them. So I really have quite a few different options. We normally do it like this at my church. So we'll stick with that. Also, I put a little outline on it and I make it a dark color. So if I have that over, let's say, this background, let's click show, you can see that that pops off away from the screen, so uh, away from the background. So that's pretty good because yellow is a very light color and so is white. Generally speaking, I prefer to have light colored text over a darker background um, with an outline or 
in Photoshop we call it a stroke around the text that doesn't matter as much but it does still matter so keep that in mind as you're doing that so once I'm done with this whole song I can just click that X and it brings it out here and I can go back and forth and do all sorts of stuff now what you might be thinking is well that's an awful lot of work you're right there are a couple other ways to import a song so if we go to uh, file import you can import a pre PowerPoint presentation you can import copied text or you can import a file and the file can be, let's see if I've got one of these. Um, let's see here. I really need a text file. Go over to the kind here. And you'll notice when I import a text file, I can choo choose where I want to separate slides, paragraph break, line break, and what category and where to bring that in. Let me go ahead and bring that into the selected playlist and I will do it by paragraph break. I really don't know what I wrote here, so this is gonna be a jumble, but you can see how quickly this works. Import, uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is just some basic notes that I created for a tutorial later, or earlier that I did. So you can see just how quickly that came in. I can also use song select here. So let's see, um, what's a good song? As the deer. So I need to type in my username and password. There are usually, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. But um, you should know that there are usually tons and tons of songs with similar names. So uh, common Christian words tend to be song titles. So don't be surprised if there are 25 songs with grace. So you have to limit that. But sometimes you can really get a song in quickly using song select. So going back to, let's go back to, to be like you. Let's say that right before service started, um, I got the word that we were actually gonna eliminate the pre-chorus here and go verse one chorus. Well, I can do that pretty quickly. I'm gonna hold down command or the Apple button and I'm gonna select those. Then I'm gonna hold down control or right click that will bring this up here and I've got disable slides when I disable the slides that means so what I, how I'm advancing I could use the arrow keys but in this case I'm using the space bar so that goes to a blank and then we skip right over those but if they said that we were gonna skip it but it turns out we're not I can always still click on those so that's a uh, pretty nifty feature. Uh, it's been available in at least since ProPresenter 3, which is when I started using it. And they've gotten rid of a bug they had in 3 where sometimes things would highlight by themselves. So that that's actually really good. I'm really a big fan of that. Now let's say that you want to do everything, but the order needs to be totally different. You see this little icon up here? Slide groups and arrangements. Bam! So that pops up, and let's say I want to 
put verse 1 right before the instrumental. Done. Now I want to put the instrumental back at the beginning. Done. So you can see how verse 1 and so I can do just like that. Now once I've done that I can also add a new arrangement. Let's call this um, we've got a worship leader with the, that goes by his last name here so I will put that in here. Let's say he likes to have his own arrangement and he never, ever, ever sings verse 2, the pre-chorus, the chorus, or that second instrumental piece here. So, if that's the case, basically I can just choose that one. instead of the default and we're good to go. So if you look down here there is in fact no verse 2 and I've got two different um, arrangements so I can go back to verse 2 if I want I can just drag that down or as I did earlier delete it and that solves all kinds of problems. Um, I've noticed, by the way, uh, you see this this is a legacy thing that we used to do. We used to do normal for the normal presentation, and then we'd create another one for short or chorus only and things like that and have them over here. Well, that's a way to get around the problem, but this is actually a much better way where you can have different arrangements. So you could have a shortened arrangement, a chorus only arrangement, a uh, headly arrangement versus uh, another arrangement and that's pretty cool the, you would have all those different arrangements so easy to deal with so let's also talk about templates uh, so let's create a new template here let's call this test template and I'm going to save that now I can do all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, we can show me. So I could put the built-in eyesight right there. I could put text right here. and I can format that text let's center that and put it on the bottom you know you're only really limited by your imagination here but once I've done this I can apply this to all the songs I've already done um, I can get rid of that if I decide I didn't like the built-in eyesight added I can add a media file to put in here um, solid background which oops so you'll notice that obscures that well all we need to do is yeah bring that forward and now it doesn't obscure it and this doesn't need to be white I can go over here and change that fill color to let's say pink so you see all the things that we can do and that fill color will always be there so those are some other things to do one other thing I want to mention here I'm gonna get out of the template editor I've noticed that that causes the background to pause when you do that so keep that in mind if you're in the middle of a service and you notice a typo let's say down here um, probably a better choice is quick edit now with quick edit you can actually move that over here if you want 
and double click on it and to be like you in a world that needs to know let's say it was actually your love so I could just type that in and then click that and it'll update here so I'm going to quick edit it again and get rid of that because that's not the actual lyric and we're done with that so these are just some of the things that you can do with ProPresenter 5 when you're uh, dealing with lyrics um, you can also do that with things like um, sermon notes and sl announcement slides things of that nature keep in mind that the transition uh, in the previous episode I talked a little bit about transitions transitions for slide text are blue so this is the transition for all the slides in this particular song this is the universal one for the entire presentation and the the more specific it is the more it will override so this goes back to the default one which is down here but it can absolutely I could do top right here and that would override this cross dissolve I'm not going to do that because I would find that annoying and I want to encourage you not to do crazy transitions unless you have a really good reason and it looks cool is not a really good reason because it looks cool actually means I would I'm willing to distract my audience from the message so I just want you to be cautious on doing things like that there are other ways to be less distracting and still ratchet up the cool factor but transitions and fonts are not those things so keep that in mind as you're doing it until next time when i'll be diving even more deeply into pro presenter maybe we'll talk about countdowns messages presenter screen things like that go out and change eternity <laughs>